Friday the 27th of August marks the 125th anniversary of the death in 1933 of Miyazawa Kenji. One of the saddest and most beautiful of his poems is called The Morning of Last Farewell, about the death of his sister, his little sister, Toshi. She died in 1922, in November 1922, at age 24. They were very close. He was only two years older. She had graduated Nihon Joshidai, Japan Women's University, and was an English teacher. She died of tuberculosis. Kenji put the date on this poem of the next day after her death, but actually he wrote it about a year later. But the fact that he put that date on it shows that he wanted people to know how he felt at the time that she died. When she actually died, he was at her bedside and he stuck his head into the closet and he wailed and he wept. There are two things in this poem I just want to mention for clarification. One is the phrase which is repeated called fetch me the rain like snow. This is something that's part of the poem that Toshi says to Kenji, to her older brother Kenji, in Hanamaki dialect. The other thing is there's a mention in this poem of a mosquito net, even though it's winter time. And there was a custom at the time in Japan to put people who are very ill, particularly people with fever, in a bed with a mosquito net, whatever season it was. This poem begins with one of the most beautiful lines in all Japanese poetry. Kyo no uchi ni toku e itte shimau watakushi no imoto yo. That's the first line. The Morning of Last Farewell by Miyazawa Kenji. Oh, my little sister who will travel far on this day. It is sleeting outside and strangely light. Fetch me the rain like snow. The sleet sloshing down out of pale red clouds, cruel and gloomy. Fetch me the rain like snow. I shot out into the midst of this black sleet, a bent bullet to gather the rain like snow for you to eat in two chipped ceramic bowls decorated with blue water shields. Fetch me the rain like snow. The sleet sloshes down, sinking out of somber clouds the color of bismuth. Oh, Toshiko, you asked me for a bowl of this refreshing snow when you were on the point of death to brighten my life forever. Thank you, my brave little sister. I too will not waver from my path. Fetch me the rain like snow. You made your request to me amidst gasping and the intensest fever for the last bowl of snow given off by the world of the sky called the atmosphere, the galaxy, and sun. The sleet desolate collects on two large fragments of granite blocks. I'll stand precariously on them and fetch the last morsels of food for my sweet and tender sister off this lustrous pine branch covered in transparent cold droplets holding the pure white dual properties of water and snow. Now today you will part forever with the deep blue pattern on these bowls so familiar to us as we grew up together. I go as I go by myself. You are truly bidding farewell on this day, O oh my brave little sister, burning up pale white and gentle in the dark screens and mosquito net of your stifling sick room. The snow is so white everywhere. No matter where you take it from, this exquisite snow has come from such a terrifying and disarranged sky. When I am born again, I will be born to suffer not only on my own account. I now will pray with all my heart that the snow you will eat from these two bowls will be transformed into heaven's ice cream and be offered to you and everyone as material that will be holy. On this wish, I stake my every happiness. <laughs>